hello and uh, today is a day where we get on the four-year-olds they've arrived back from Ireland and they arrived on Thursday evening pretty late uh, 11 o'clock in the evening they came off the transport as well um, they look okay they've had a couple of days to recuperate they're actually quite fresh on the Friday trotting around and cantering around the field and playing so that's great but these trans modern transports now they really look after them and came on an Arctic so comfortable for them to travel. I'm um, just hacking out Incy right now. She hasn't done much because all my events keep being cancelled. So today she's just doing a spot of hill work. Um, hoping to maybe go show jumping tomorrow. Let's see my entry got in, I did email. And then um, I was supposed to be at Howick next week, but that hasn't happened. So we are going to Barbary now for the Cotswold Cup because I cannot find any BE that I want to do in the local area. Um, there's such an event that just I know that just won't sort suit the horse at all, so there's just no point in even going there. Um, so yeah, it's Barbary, and then we've got the riding club areas the week after. So I'm hoping she'll have a good run at Barbary, and then make it to the riding club areas in fine fettle. She always goes quite well at Pompspool, so fingers crossed. She does need to go cross country schooling again. I did go last Saturday to a little course and just jump like 90, a couple of one meters, but skinnies and stuff and she was very well behaved, which made up for her appalling behaviour on the trailer where she wound herself up over cows. She absolutely hates them and managed to like give herself lots of abrasions and cuts. But anyway, they've all been sorted out. She's had a quiet week, what with me being in Ireland and also then at badminton. And so she's just being picked up now. Jancis is coming over this afternoon to give me a hand with the four-year-olds because obviously no idea what they're like or you know, I have seen them being ridden, so I know they're broken in, but I like to take things very slowly and start as if um, they haven't been broken in so that, um, you know, nothing goes wrong. With horses, they always say it's about putting pennies in the jar for confidence, but if you've got no pennies to start with, you need to do it absolutely slowly and do it properly. So they'll probably, Jance is coming over with four saddles. I don't think any of mine are gonna fit. Uh, they need a lot of filling out to do and a bit of growing but um, they, they are really friendly and really sweet and then I will um, just probably lunge them slightly just to check they're not going to buckaroo with the saddles on, check that they're happy with that and then we will look to get on. Um, today will probably be a body protector and crash hat day just in case, I said you just don't know them and there's no point taking risks. So they'll both go into the arena together because then it's horse friendlier that they've got company and they're not going to just be on their own. So fingers crossed we'll show you the method. They're on quarantine at the moment um, because I'm so anal about the others but ours are now all out 24-7 so I'm hopefully bring them slightly closer to the yard to tack them up otherwise it's going to be in the field job which isn't really ideal but I do not want coughs, colds and viruses and they have mixed with a lot of horses in the last 10 days. So one thing I thought I would just chat about is uh, actually we've made a few, after Lark Hill and the disaster there where she was a nightmare, we have made a few changes to her. She's only just gone out this week because I'm so super anal about colic and laminitis that I have to build up to it and also the weather's only just changed and then um, we have got had her on Regimate. So she's now been on Regimate for a month and it does seem to have stopped the absolutely insane brain. She's still incy in there, still has her moments, but I don't quite have the manic horse that I had at Lark Hill. So fingers crossed, she will come off it in, at the end, in June, because normally when I've evented her in June, because she's always been second horse before, but I sold the first horse um, due to my health. So um, she's now first horse and never evented that early. So fingers crossed she can come off in June because I don't really like keeping them on it 24 seven throughout the whole year. Though I appreciate some horses do actually need it. But that's just my preference. Um, she's pretty happy and, that, and my biggest worry at the moment is the Shetland who has been created a Shetland proof paddock because she's an escape artist. And just need to make sure she stays in a good shape because again, I'm paranoid about laminitis. Just, it's a, something you can prevent and so I make every effort to make sure I'm preventing it. So pony number one, yep, tried, a, tried a couple of saddles on, this one's going to be alright for now, he's going to be a bit broader than he is at the moment, he's only four, 
So we're just going to give him a little wander around. So this is Robbie. He's very cute. I mean, he's going to be quite mischievous. He's a bit of a chewer. And uh, he's a little bit, he's got that kind of naughty little glint in his eye, haven't you? But he's quite cute. And then this is Odie. Oh, Odie is just, just doing a bit of block training. Um, don't know how they would got on an island, might have just been a leg up. So, got to teach them about the mounting block, otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a shock. I don't know if he's ever lunged over, so we're just going to give him a quick little spin just to check he's not going to explode with the saddle on. And then pop up literally just for a very quiet little angle. Um, these two are not going to be worked yet. They both need just to let down and get condition on. Clue, do you? We don't think he's ever lunched. <laughs> You're a bit clueless. I think they just get on, don't they? Yeah, I think so. You might just have to do the same. So here we go. This is how we train them to be good at the block. Just bribery. Give them some treats. Get them used to it. Patting. Leaning over. I mean, these guys are broken. They've been ridden away, so we're not anticipating problems, but... Want to avoid an issue? Here we go, first try. Good boy. Good boy. So, <laughs> the reason why there's a horse nose on your screen is because we don't want to separate them yet. They've come over together, they've been in the field together for a couple of days. Um, so we're just gonna keep them in the same area so nobody gets stressed and panicked. Boy! We're just wondering what's going on, aren't we? Hey, what's happening to your mate? He's got, he's, he's got a, there's a lot of shoulder here. Yeah, he's gonna be quite broad. Yeah. Well, I don't feel, like, oldie I used to feel quite big on, but actually yeah, him, I don't feel... Yeah, you'll be alright on him. He's gonna come up a bit as well. Gonna be broad enough. This is all good. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Nice horse. Very pleased with this one. I am pleased. <laughs> Thing is, in at the sales you can't sit on them. So. Oh. I didn't feel big on him either. He's a lot broader. He'll be an Incy saddle soon. Um, um, I don't know, Lucy might have said earlier, but ride them now, just very quietly, just so we know we've got, before they get a bit too well again on the grass and in a new place. Very good boy. Uneducated mouth either. Good. He holds his neck nicely, you know, naturally. He's got a nice shape. Ooh. There we go. That was literally it. Not even five minutes. Pony yeah, number one. Safe, safe, sane, sound, happy days. Now we've got to try the other one. Could be more exciting. Okay, we're up on pony number two. And again, he feels nice for his back, which is my. Feet don't go in the stirrups unless they feel nice through their back. So same, we did the same routine with him, just gave him 
some treats, stood at the block. He didn't put the leg on. So he jumped up on holding the other pony. There you go. <laughs> not going over there with him. Ooh. Pretty relaxed. No backup. That's what we want. Much greener. Yeah. Yeah, so this one it's not quite as straightforward in his brain and probably hasn't done very much at all before going to the sales. Um, and he's a bit more wibbly wobbly. So this we knew this was the longer term one. So yeah, he's much greener in his contact and how he goes, but they did say he'd just been sort of broken before the sale. Yeah. This one will have quite a lot of groundwork, long lining, lunging. Doesn't really know the cues yet. Might be able to get to me. Oi. So there we go, he did even less time than this guy just because he's so so weak. Um, he needs a lot of this a lot be, of time. This is going to be until it's. This is going to take until it's six. Yeah, he's going to be a big horse. He's going to be a tall horse. He's got a lot of broadening to do. Um, but worth it. We know he's got the raw, raw ability. So hopefully, be worth it. Yep. Boys, very good. Very successful. And we don't good freak boy. out when we get off. That's good too. Good boy. So that's it. We've ridden the both. Excellent. Good job. I've survived, so it's always good to survive, and also that I haven't tried to be killed by the horses I've just spent a lot of money on, so that is good as well. Just never know this kind of stuff, do you? Anyway, I'm, I'm grateful for Jancis for her help because it's the kind of thing you can't do by yourself. And hopefully, the Bay One will have um, around 10 to 12 days off, and then he'll start just coming doing light work. The Chestnut, Robbie, will, it's so weak, he's going to take a bit longer, so I don't ever really. He's just going to do little bits in hand. He's um, not quite so happy about being groomed and things. So actually that's the kind of stuff I can fiddle around with. It's not going to impact his body or his growth, but actually it will help him be a nicer horse in the longer term. So that is the plan now.